we got new players, so still Just getting everything stored out. Things, making sure. Eating because you've been playing too much Final Fantasy XIV because you're on vacation. <laughs> I used to play it. Making really bad decisions, but decisions anyways. There we go. Finally figured it out. I'm pl currently playing Dragon Age Inquisition just because as soon as uh, Ed Walker goes in, that's all I'm going to be doing. So, uh, have you gotten through it. MSQ? <laughs> uh huh? Have you gotten all the way through MSQ? No, but I'll be doing. Shadowbringers, and then Endwalkers. Like, all my time will be devoted to Final Fantasy XIV. So. You're like, things are changing. I'll wait for the changes. And yeah. Learn them and get back into MSQ. Where did, where did Leaf go? I fucked up. Sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I go buy a laptop tomorrow. Uh... Even if it's a little Chromebook or something, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll get something small. I really want yeah, one, but I just got to think to getting that. <sighs> it only costs one hundred and thirty after tax Chromebook. One hundred and twenty. Oh, sorry, one hundred and twenty. Put it on your work. That was almost the like book I bought. <laughs> I got a discount on my MacBook, but. It was like a hundred bucks. <laughs> it was just through Best Buy, and um, it was like their Black Friday sale, so it should still be going on. Also, I've been computer gaming for decades, so I of <laughs> course have a rig. So that's where I'm playing. From. I got two screens that's the and everything. That's the ultimate goal. Just to have a rig. <laughs> I think I built mine for about eight hundred dollars. Probably it would be um, just over a thousand after video card and regular hard drive. Mine was going to be over a thousand, but that was with peripherals, which a lot I already have. My friend was supposed to build me one, but that never happened. And... All right. I'm going to need to do one other thing. Because... Leaf, I don't think you can use beyond yeah. 20 right now. Can you? Have you done a tablet? Um, I downloaded it. I'm not sure how that works, but... Uh, try rolling something on D&D Beyond. Okay, this is going to sound extremely stupid, but how do I roll? All right. on D &D I've only played D&D I... through Discord, so... I've never actually used the DV on before. Okay. So do you have your character sheet up on D&D Beyond? Yes. Okay. So on D&D Beyond, do you, can you click on like your strength modifier? My strength modifier? My what? Your strength modifier or one of your skills. There should be like boxes around the modifier numbers. So it's a plus oh. four or plus minus one or something like that. Oh, okay. Just any number. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, I clicked on it and I think it rolled. Okay. I'll go I back got to a your two. 20 tab. My roll 20 tab? Oh, my God. What did it do now? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm on my roll 20. It didn't show, it showed that it rolled, but it didn't pick it up on roll 20. Yeah, I only see it in the, uh, 
Game log. Game log. All right, additional work around.
weekend. I'm finishing one last thing. Oh, okay. He come back to us. Did he kick me out again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tavo, I need the sweater. All right, as a backup, uh, I've gotten most everything for you on uh, as a on your character sheet in, in uh, roll twenty. So <clears throat> instead of using D and D Beyond for the moment, you can just use the character sheet in roll twenty. Okay. All right. Now we can fully start. So going over here. Hey everybody, sorry for the delay, but to welcome back to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it didn't come through very well, but thanks for trying. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we've got a couple new players, uh, ended up uh, losing one, so we're kind of going to sort of retcon things just a tad. Uh, Hess uh, uh, actually apparently had a heart attack while uh, he was asleep. Uh, apparently that drop poison was a little too much for him, or a little bit too potent, and he fell off into the webs and got eaten by spiders. There we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, uh, a couple of uh, chained up individuals uh, in the back uh, apparently were sleeping during this whole thing and have just woken up uh, and are now being like, oh, what's going on? Everybody's rushing out. Uh, free please free me. So just to catch people up, you have been captured by the drow. You've been chained and um, locked up in, in a pen uh, meant to do. Uh, take it out just to do some menial slave work until uh, a bunch of a uh, demons of different types, Vrox and Chesmies, which have this really annoying buzzing sound. Well, the Vrox give more screeching. Uh, one of them uh, damaged the door enough for Holly to rip the door open. In order for you guys to get out, you fought your way into a barracks where you beat people up until you were able to steal their weapons. Uh, you found the key and um, right now uh, Jim Jar is lying unconscious with the keys just lying on the ground next to him and a few people have gotten free of their chains. James, Hi, everybody else has not yet uh, meanwhile Roderick has gone off to defend against a couple of stray drow while Holly Prince Darendel and Eldith are um, working on a very hardy uh, drow uh, 
and more of like the captain of the barracks and nobody's gone upstairs yet is that a good summary catch up questions mm -hmm. great summary mm -hmm. awesome. a lot going on so before we begin though or, or continue let's recap a few things of uh because it's been a couple weeks let's describe our characters uh, i'll go from left to right on my screen um so that people kind of know a little bit what about what each of the characters look like roderick why don't you describe yourself hi y'all i'm roderick um i'm this nice beefy look beefy six two 280 pound man um like I have a like my skin's a little pasty and all like it's it's like you'd think with how I look and stuff I work out a lot but um my skin doesn't look that way it looks like I haven't seen the sun in a while I have this um kind of short cropped uh jet black hair with a kind of a faux hawk going on and I just have some uh traditional almost uh monk robes going on very much like my picture. Um, and every so often, it's weird. My eyes glow red. What's up with that? All right, Holly. Hi, um, looking for my descriptions of her. So you guys see a water genasi with light blue hair. Um, <clears throat> she has human type uh, skin color, um, just like regular tan tone. Um, but when she rages, she has kind of a green and bluish cosmic because it's got kind of like it looks a little glittery on her um, body when she rages. Um, in her hair, you can see bubbles coming off of it. She is... Five, eight. In height... And that's about all I remember. <laughs> what I had written down. That's fine. Uh, Lasseter. Uh, Lasseter is pretty much the beaten up version of uh, Chris Pratt in uh, Guardians of the Gal Galaxy. Um, I like it. Looks like he's uh, not too muscular, but, uh, whatever, um, brownish, blondish hair, short cut, uh, I don't know how you, how you describe that, uh, he's a white man, <laughs> um, at the moment, I'm wearing just, uh, common clothes, um, Chris Pratt. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, Syra, <clears throat> you just woke up from all this commotion, realizing the other prisoners are, are making their way out by themselves, and you just saw uh, one of the Dark Gnome prisoners uh, help out somebody with their chains, uh, but then uh, get knocked out conscious. Okay. Um, and now describe what Syra looks like. Syra is about five six, uh, kind of a thin, athletic build. Uh, silvery blonde hair, usually kind of tied tightly into a kind of a bun, which kind of shows her personality is kind of uptight and prissy. But after being locked up, it's kind of messy right now. Um, 
Yeah, just kind of pale skin, usually wearing leather, but I'm assuming now she's in her burlap sack. Uh, she's probably still got her... Uh, she's got the, something, just like common clothes. Right. Anything that would have been like common in her pack or something like that. They want you at least to have some semblance of... Right. Uh, of uh, dignity? I don't know. Um, and finally, Leaf. Um, um, Leaf is, um, five, five, um, he's a wood elf, he, um, he's light-skinned, um, he has short brown hair, brown eyes, and, um, he's, <laughs> I guess he looks filthy and dirty since he's been captured, and... He looks like your typical tree hugger. Sounds good. It's hippie. All right. Um, so first things it. first. Uh, I need uh, just we need to get uh, get you guys into initiative here. So, uh, Syra and Leaf, I want you to go ahead and roll initiative for me, and I'll put you into the turn order. I think we just finished with Ront. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, we got initiative for Leaf as now. broke that token okay it's okay why did you do that that didn't seem like a smart thing to do i'll fix it later There we go. Fixed it. All right. Top of the order, Syra. All right. So, um, am I still kind of tied up, or am I free? Yeah, you're in chains. Uh, so you've got some movement, but it's restricted. Uh, there is a key. Uh, over by this guy which you could easily get over there and grab the key and start taking off your manacles that sounds like a great idea so yep i will make my way between everybody get over here and i'll start to unlock myself all right that will take your entire action to do but you were able to do that all right which leaves you free remember you don't have any weapons or anything right now so Right. To either find them or find replacements. So. so that was my whole action. I don't have anything else. All right, go ahead. All right. Turvey, uh, this guy right next to you, um, is going to then uh, snatch the key from you and unlock himself. And then turn towards his brother. Holly! You are unlocked. Yeah, I'm unlocked and I have that chain around me still for a weapon. Um, 
Let's see. I'm still reading. Mm -hmm. And I'm still dealing with him, so I'm just going to um Did I go reckless? Um you can. Okay, I'll do a reckless attack on him with the flail. Alright. Roll with advantage. Alright. Uh, oh, Alright, we fixed that. Didn't go over, but that'll hit. It didn't go... <sighs> didn't go over. Yeah, it didn't right. go over to, to roll 20, but I did see the roll, so... Okay. But it does Um. Hit. Okay, so then I do... Image... So got seven plus two for the rage. So we got nine points of damage. Ooh, he's looking pretty hurt. Got it. Uh, that is. I think I can do anything else for bonus. That is it for Holly. That's her turn. Sarah uh, says, hurry up, you fools, and stays where he is. Uh, let's see. Um, do I have any other ones? I do not currently, so. Right, Topsy helps Turvy get him, get him unlocked. And it's our draw friend again. I'm just going to attack Holly. Okay. So. Uh, 15 hit. Mm, armor class is 15. Alright, so that'll hit. That'll do 5 piercing and 11 points of poison damage. How are you looking? I'm down. said 5 and 11 to so 16 all together. Yep. And you are okay. And no longer raging. School still waits his turn. Roderick. All right. So since this person is down we're we're gonna go back and join the the little funsies happening over here. You said um what the this bridge is difficult terrain. No, it's regular terrain. Okay, I thought you were saying that because it was that like with like before, but all right. No, I so. think it, it was difficult terrain because you were manacled, but you're no longer manacled, so. so I'm easily able to get over here. Without a doubt. Alright, and seeing all this going on, seeing this gentleman up and about, we're like, we, we need to stop you, so I'm gonna give a nice uh, left hook. Alright. 
Does a 17 hit? 17 does hit. All right, and then um, so as he get like that left hook connects, he's going to still use the momentum and then turn around left and hook, the left hook connects and he falls flat on the floor. Well, then he's not going to keep doing what he's going to do. <laughs> Uh, my, my, I wanted to make sure I say that first. As of yeah. right now, uh, all you hear at this point in time, you don't see any other combatants. Uh, there is some buzzing noises coming from above and around. Uh, and you never know when they're going to come crashing back into the yeah. camp at all. There's a ladder in that little area. I'm going to go up the ladder. The yeah, that's just uh, plenty of movement. Alright. Alright. Upstairs, you find an armory. Uh, and it looks like they have some chain shirts, some studded leather, some shields, some crossbows, short swords, daggers, caltrops, rope, hammers, and iron spikes. And I'll just look down and be like, all right, everyone, suit up, and just start handing things down. I guess, are we free to, are we free to kind of move around right now? Yep, yeah, we're pretty much out of initiative. Okay. But I'm still unconscious, right? Oh. Yeah. Am I still bound? Uh, eventually, they'll be able to uh, get to you uh, uh, to unlock. So everybody gets unchained during this process. Um, I will start tending to the wounded. Well, of our possible allies. Anyone that I see is, like, sleeping, I'll just, like, slap them across the face <laughs> and try to wake them up. All right. Jim Jar is weak. And Holly's at zero hit points, so just slapping her doesn't quite do it. Well, to the people who looked asleep, not unconscious. Okay. Different. You Holly. You crit. <laughs> hey, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Good. Well, she, is, she is stable. Apparently, the poison that's on these blades just keeps them stable, just unconscious. Um, I. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is it spare anyone here the... over right. here? Bear the dying, Holly. Oh, I have one more spell slot. Um. Uh, grab my darts. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cure wounds, Holly. Uh, while they're doing that, uh, could I ritual cast detect magic to see if I can find my spell book and my my crystal? Um, sure. I'm sure you'd probably find a location that's kind of in a safe place that you're not going to get hit by a, a fl flying rock or excuse me, but um, I I uh, roll. I want to take one of those short swords. I rolled for the healing amount, but I didn't have D and D. I mean, beyond That'd twenty. Be uh, do you want me to no, roll again? Fine. Okay. Uh, nine hit Holly, points. Yeah, you get nine hit points, Holly. Much appreciated. And you regain consciousness. Uh, wake up! We're we're not out of here yet. Oh, God. Wrong <laughs> symbol. All right. So I take one of the short swords. <laughs> I'll take the studded leather armor, I guess, and the short sword. Oh. Uh, and then, so I've got the flails. Uh, so, me. 
Are chain shirts light or medium or heavy? I think they're yeah. heavy. Oh, they don't so the... heavy. Chain shirt. Chain shirt is medium. Uh, well, I I feel like um. Most of our melee melee uh allies should probably get. I'm good right there. now. I actually don't do this whole wear armor thing. You see him do like quotation marks. My body is my armor. Uh, well, okay, my body uh, needs protection, and she'll put on her. Hey, armor. more for y'all. What else was in the armory? Everything's in the uh, uh, beyond, or Roll20 chat. Six chain shirts, six suits of studded leather armor, six shields, six hand crossbows, along with 20 cases of hand crossbow bolts, each containing 20 bolts. Six short swords and 10 daggers. Six bags of caltrops. They named 20 cal, uh, cal drops for your bag. Four 100 foot long coils of silk rope. Two building hampers, which aren't usable as weapons. And yeah. two bags of iron spikes. Containing 10 spikes per bag. Can I get Hold a chain on. shirt? Sure. Anything that the PCs don't take, the NPCs will take. Um, Basically, they'll sell out their stat block. I'll just keep using the chain that I have right now for, like, the flail, and then um, I'll take a sh shield. I'll take a building hammer and an iron spike also, just... You might need that in the future, and some rope. Yeah, I'd like I'd like a rope, if still available. Just in case I need to like take the easy way out. I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> My God. Now the question is, did you say that in character? Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't be not something he would wouldn't say. I would. I don't know. Uh, probably not. Now. You know what? Yes, that is something he would have said. But I still want the rope. You know, I rarely do this, but Blaster, take inspiration. Yay! <laughs> oh, also, uh, I don't know why, but um, I I took damage, but it doesn't say I took damage on roll twenty. Yeah, for some reason the the health isn't adjusting right. Between the two, um, as long as you're I keeping would, track and making sure that that's all I care about. I want to take one of the bag of spikes and just kind of use them as darts. Is that possible? No, no, no I'm gonna have to say no on that. They're they're like more like big old like rail spikes oh, okay or or pitons stuff stuff that's meant to be really solid and heavy um not adaptable to to use as a improvised dart okay oh give um, it a try <laughs> were our uh two new players with us this whole time or did they just uh, they were. You, for some reason, didn't notice them. Okay. Oh, didn't notice them. Uh, All right, everyone. We should um, 
keep uh try to take what we can and then we should try to get out of here uh Syra, uh you try to you cast detect magic and you don't detect anything magical okay except What's... for them red eyes on our I'm that, think. that ain't that ain't magical still sus but whatever well, what's been going on out here? I woke up to all this commotion. That's just what it was. It was commotion. It was these demon things started to appear, and one broke our cage door. So we decided to do a little bit of a prison break. So we can hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. So let's get to it. Syra, you'd also realize that uh, the range of your spell only goes about 30 feet, so it, and it can't, can't go through a foot of stone, an uh, inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. So, it could be around here, just not within range of your spell that your spell can move. So. And everybody would know that somewhere in here, Maybe your stuff. Ooh. Uh, investigation check? Uh, sure. Uh, you can roll all of us? Want to. Um, I have a feeling it's not here. <laughs> like in this particular <laughs> room. Yeah, you don't find anything. Nope, definitely yep. not in this this pillar. All right, y'all, let's keep going. Pillars tight to the ceiling, leg tight. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, I think it's gonna keep. It's gonna start moving. Uh, is it pronounced Roderick or something else? Roderick. Okay. I'm just gonna... said Roderick, but it's Roderick. Please pass here. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, can we not go past each other? No, we can. Yeah, it's a little tight in some places, but you can for some reason, I can't. We're moving out. There we go. I'll just use my mouse. I'm just. I'm... Uh, is this is this a door here? Looks like a door. Looks like a door, but I don't think we had access to it because of the way. Do, could we get up there? Because I couldn't tell how it was connected. Hold on, let me let me do a slight adjustment to that page, because you guys would have seen this entire thing. So there we go. Oh, I can see it now. <laughs> I can see clearly now. Oh my gosh, it's like I have dark vision. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to see the map this whole time, but I've been too embarrassed to say it. <laughs> and there's a little bit more of the verticality of it um, uh, below. So, Also, we... uh, Leaf, you might have been too zoomed in to see the particular area we were at since the map is a little big. So there is always that, too. So we got a top-down version, and we have a side-view version on the bottom. Do we know about this guy, this hair? No. No? Okay. Ignoring that then. But I'm going to try to open up this door. Who cares about a door? We need to get out of here. Is it? Is we this have, the we, way we, out? We, also, we, we might. We don't know. We've got to find our stuff. Hurry up I am not leaving down, here without guy. my spell book. On the road again. 
The steep rope bridge leads to the walkway ledge to the uppermost level of the largest hanging tower. Uh, Can I? Oh, go ahead. Well, let's find out. Inside, you find a uh, shrine to to a big old like spider thing. Yeah, gross. No. Oh, it's not letting me. It's. Can we tell if it's like a god? I mean, it's very shriny. Do a religion check. Sure. That's interesting. It's not letting me through the door. Two. Religion check. Oh. I uh, Holly, you have no idea. It's just. Uh, but Syra, you know, Drow. Wolf, the demon spider queen. It makes sense that the drow will be worshipping this thing. Anything right. interesting? Yeah. Um, any other doors? Let's see. Passages. There is a, uh, like I said, little trap door. Inside there's a little trap door? Mm-hmm. Shall we try to see what's in there? Yeah. I think that'd be wise. Open up the trap door. All right, inside, uh, down from the shrine, inside the walls are hung with a black mesh resembling a spider's web, extending from a central spot on the ceiling out to the walls, then draped down like curtains. Thick woven mm -hmm. mats cover the floor while a low platform is covered with cushions and pillows to make a broad divan-like bed. Or divan. Divan. D-I-V-A-N. Divine. Like, something like that. It, it's an A-N, so. Uh, like bed. One side of the chamber contains a small table with two chairs, while the other holds a small shrine to loaf draped in white silk. Heavy chest of black stained zerkwood sits in the foot of the bed. That chest looks interesting. Uh, also, something vaguely mag magical is in that chest. Sorry, you'd be able to tell. I'm gonna go to try looking at that chest and see if I can open it up. Give me an investigation check. Ooh, uh, dirty 20. Um, you, you step back when you realize that there's some sort of trap. I uh, see if I can try to disarm the trap. Yeah, do you have speed store? <laughs> nope. Alright, make me a sleight of hand check. Disadvantage. 
So you just want a dagger as a improvised thieves tool. Wow. Both a 13. So 13? That looks like a 31. Yeah, because it rolled, but it shows both of them. There's two 13s. So it's an 18. Why First did you add everything together? I don't know. Something broke. Uh, yeah. It says 2d10 keep low 1 plus 5. Alright. Uh, you feel a pinprick. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ten. All right, you are now poisoned. Oh boy! You just have the poison condition. Yeah. No damage. And it's still unlocked. It's still locked. Now I try and unlock it. All right. Give me a slight hand check. With disadvantage. Eh, that's not good. That's gonna be a thirteen. Yeah. And I don't think this out. Just not working. Does anyone else want to give this a try? I I feel a little woozy right now. <laughs> That there's a lock on it? Yeah. yeah. How does the lock look? Like, is it like a new saying? lock? Can it... It's starting. Let's carry I'm... it with us for now. Maybe we can find something to help... Help, uh... Slam it open. Carry this? I'm currently just keeping watch... Uh, up ahead. Just assume you want, you want... everybody else is following. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. come, on. come on. Hey, 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 you said that, that you got some stuff in there? Yeah, yeah the, no, no, this no. chest is locked. Uh, let me try it. Yeah. Uh, my chest. Cracks his knuckles. It's like, I, uh, I did find a few pieces up there, and it looks like I can do with my these tools. All right. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, these don't really work that well. Let me try again. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I think I almost got it. Oh, hold on. Uh, ah, got it. And it pops up in the trunk. And inside is all your stuff. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey! All right. Start handing everything out to everyone. I will admit that I forgot about a spider, but that's okay. <laughs> so we just have all of our stuff now? Yep. Yep. Cool. Now we're back in action. He has little, little thumps. You see some, you hear some more closely droning, buzzing noise. You hear, hear a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> ah. What, what is going on out there? Is, are there... Like you said something about a creature broke open your cage, or our cage. Yeah, you saw yeah. as you come came out of the the um, the pen or the slate pen. The um, there was these demonic creatures flying around, attacking each other. Let me see if I can remember how this. Works. Control shift. No, it's shift. Control shift. Nope, that's not what I want. Trying to make these things bigger, but I can't remember this hotkey. I'm gonna keep them for the hotkey. There we go. So you oh, see a couple of these things. 
uh, brawling with a couple of uh, four of these things. Ugh. That's a face not even a mother would love. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> it is. Look how bad that is. <laughs> All right, everyone. I let's let's get out of yeah. here, please. Um, I move my the makeshift flail I had and the uh, shield to my bag. Do these walls f seem like they're getting tighter? Just uh, all right. I I know what you're saying there. I've seen this happen before. I I just need you to take a few deep breaths. All right. Good. Not working. <laughs> I can slap you. Uh, no, no, thank you. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> All we go. Uh. Uh. Not meta gaming. I would totally just go. Not feeling very confident that I'm the one leading. <laughs> well, here I'll I'll get up here. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you doing out here? Um, uh, so you uh, face off against two Qui Gon, which look kind of look like uh, a lot like Prince Daredevil, actually. Uh we're we're Ooh. just going for a little bit of a stroll right now. Hey, you're supposed to be back in here in caves. Cages. Well, see, we were trying to find someone to help us with the cage because these big old demon type buggy things broke it. Then why you did not... you leave? If, didn't did somebody tell you to come out? Yeah, the cards told us to come out and have someone try to find some help. Uh, they rolled me a deception check. Come on. Come on. Fucking A. Yeah, nope. <laughs> You're escaping, and they're gonna. Roundhouse kick. <laughs> Just roundhouse <laughs> kick to the face. Um... Let's see, hold on. Let me take off the drow, because I'm just basically in double drow. <laughs> Roundhouse. All right. So we're doing this basically based off of the initiative between Aiden, uh, Roderick, and Quiet Quiet House, and then we'll move back into initiative from that. And the Quiet House uh, reacts before you, and takes a couple whacks at you. They can try. Uh, where my quack off go? I didn't pop it out, did I? Here we are. Tags with you a couple times with its claws. It's uh, being it's whispered. <laughs> Here we go. One. Nope. Two. Dodge. Dodge. I mean, Stool's not going to do anything. No, he, Go he's going to be the best boy. And I'm just going to give him a big roundhouse kick. Actually, I want to attack with my sword. Does an 18 hit? 18 does it. And then um, for my... Um, bonus action, I'll do the roundhouse kick. Thirteen. Whip around and he kicks in the face. He seems barely phased, though. 
it, it was a, it was a little tap, and then I'll just take a take a nice little defense. All right, Jim Jar was following after you guys. Yeah, everyone was with us. So he's gonna come up. And he's gonna make a couple of short sword attacks, which are whispered, and he misses. Uh, I haven't quite gotten used to these things yet. That's alright. Leaf, I'm assuming you had come up with everybody. Was I? I don't know. Were you, were you just going to stay in the cage? <laughs> no, I'm just following, I guess. Okay, so you're over here with everybody else. Yeah, um, short turn if you want to do something. Am I still restrained? Nope. They got you free. And you got oh, all your stuff, so. Oh, okay. Um, am I close enough to attack anything? Well, you can move closer. Yeah, it depends on what type of attack you're trying to make. Um... Can I use my thorn whip? <laughs> my cantrip? Yeah, you might have to turn around, the, go around the, uh, the corner here. Your enemies are these two guys here. I only see the map. I don't really see where we're placed. <laughs> okay, are, are you... What do you see? Um... I see, like, the outline of the cave thing. Okay. So if you zoom out, I'm going to ping. And this is where everybody is. And this is where you are. Right here. See see the, my little ping on the map? Mm, no. I might, I might like it. They're different maps. Okay. So do you see see like the vertical stuff? No, I see the Belkin bell side. Yeah. Okay, so you need to scroll down. If you zoom out, it might be a little easier. Oh. How do I get to the other part? So you're over here. You can see like half of the map thing, but I can't get to the other side for some reason. Are you having our time to scrolling? Yeah, I always see it. I just don't, I can't seem to get it. Okay, I love it. So you're Sorry, here. There. Oh, there it is. I see it now, I think. And your enemies are over here. Everybody between you and the enemies are your friends. Oh, crap. So you just need to tap on your token. And then you should be able to drag it to another square. There you go. Oh. <laughs> okay, can I attack that thing in front of me? Yep. Oh, now I saw your ping. Um, do I click on the... Oh my god, I have roll, guys. I'm so sorry. It's alright. New to D uh, roll twenty, so and then on your character sheet you can click on Thorn Whip. Did I click on the wrong one? Yep, there we go. I clicked on damage. Was I supposed to click the other one? Yeah. It's 
If anything, we know what the damage is, and hopefully it hits. No, and it doesn't hit. Sadly. Off by one. Damn. 13 is the threshold we have to meet. We'll see. Assume you well, I tried, I guys. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, it, it happens. That's a thing. Shushar's awakened, so he doesn't really do anything. Aldeth would have come with you. Come down here and she'll join the fray. How is she doing? She's not really doing that great. Uh, she will attack. With a sharp sword a couple times. Oop. Whiffs. Whiffs. But it is ready for anything. Lassiter. Uh, I am going to rage. Let's see. Uh, I'll do a good old uh, Eldritch Blast to uh, the first guy. Not the goblin in front of me. He's not a goblin, is he? Is he a goblin? He's a uh, gnome. No. A deep gnome. But yeah, not not to the mm -hmm. suspiciously looking goblin. I'm assuming you're going to attack the enemies and not your friends. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe you would accidentally, but... 22? That'll hit. Cool. Wow. Uh, what maybe you, 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 you actually hit him on accident and it just oh. kind of grazed his shoulder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that is my turn. Yep. I go pew. <laughs> Princess has come down here with you. Uh, he seems more quagothy for some reason. I had to get out of the box. Even though he was speaking elegantly just a few minutes ago. Uh, makes a couple of attacks. Uh, hits on the first one, misses on the second. Operation Focus Fire. Uh, Ront is unconscious. He's kind of left back there to regain himself. Turvey is trying to wake up a Ront. Well, I would have yeah. gone through. I would have gone through and woken everyone up. Remember, I went to everyone who seemed asleep. Yeah, he was. He was unconscious. Oh, okay. My apologies. If I remember correctly. Yeah, he was unconscious. I thought he was just... So... He was stable, so it wasn't like he, was, he would be death saving throws or something, but... He is going to make a medicine check to try to revive him to at least one hit point. And doesn't. Topsy, get over here. Help me out. Syrah. Uh, how does this first guy look? As far uh, as He damage. looks pretty hurt. The other guy doesn't look hurt at all. All right. I am because going to Because I forgot this. to have him attack the last turn. But, you know. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, I am going to let loose a magic missile. On this guy, I will. Yeah, that works. So I'll put two darts on this one and one dart on that one. Okay. So two on the less hurt and one on the hurt. 
No, two on the most hurt and oh, one okay. on the less hurt. All right. Roll two more times. Because I think it only rolls one dart at a time. I think it counts for all, all three. You can do it either or. Yeah, I want you to roll each one. Okay. Because you could always do better. And then third one. Okay, nine for the first one and four for the second. Well, that five is max damage. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else? That's it. All right, Holly. Pretty barbarian. Sorry, I was muted. I was talking. Pull the spuddy. I do it all the time. <laughs> I, I will. I will say you can kind of like, like, uh, uh, do the like shuffle with your cohort. So if you want to kind of like swap with Jim Jar for a second, then back up or. Yeah, I'd like to up. swap with Jim Jar real quick. Okay. And you then dance around you, be like, "Hey, you're better at this than I am." <laughs> And then swing with my great axe. Um, what? To announce your great weapon. Note five. Just announce that before. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna swing at. First one in front of me. Not hit. Doesn't it go over? But my other stuff does. I do a, a now when I do a twenty. The dice on D and D Beyond. I don't know. It's weird. All right. Uh, it was an eight. So it doesn't hit. Um. And then I will. So wait. So if I back away and switch with Jim Jar, they're gonna get an attack of opportunity with me. Uh, I'm gonna rule it by by a, a swap. You have to you that would be part of your movement. Okay. Uh, but oh. uh, Jim Jar would prefer to stay behind you, and he can okay, then... like, sneak behind, sneak back. Otherwise, oh. it would be just. Okay, so in that case, and Jim, my... Jim Jar, I think has uh, ranged attacks too, so okay. he's fine. He's like, uh, I'll rage though for my bonus action. Okay, it's a good idea. Uh, where's Sarah? Sarah will have just be back here, kind of like looking around. He's not going to be in combat. <laughs> Topsy was like, oh, I'll try. Try to have Uh, Topsy. Nope. Does not help. Well, uh, we're not really good at this. All right, Quagga's turn. Let's see. He's gonna start smacking at at Roderick because he attacked him. Uh, actually hit him. Uh, 
Nope. And 15 hit you, hit you Roderick? <laughs> Dodge. It doesn't hit. Ah. Just dodging out of the way. Too fast for you. Meanwhile, the he's gonna turn. The other one's gonna turn to uh, Prince Darendel. Be like traitor, and do a couple attacks. One of them hits by uh, roll the damage. Can I? Here we are. Ah. Stool. This is gonna come up here and like nudge. Uh, uh, Ront trying to wake him up and it's not really doing anything. Actually, hold on. He's gonna do a medicine check. Uh, stool. Stool. Uh, and sadly, he does not help. He doesn't hurt, but he does not help. Shakes some spores out of himself to, in frustration. Jimjar. You skipped me. Oh, did I? Yeah. I apologize. No, I have you right here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, my mistake. I miss. I missed Saul. All right, I'm gonna take another slash at him with my short sword. That's gonna miss, and I'm going to then use um uh, my bonus action. I'm gonna to try to punch him in the face. That's gonna miss too. No. Jim Jarrah pulls out when the hand crossbows he grabbed. And no, oh, no, he only gets one attack. Uh he had vantage because there were people next to him. That's all right. Uh just so kind of speed things up. Leaf. Um let's see, let's see. Close for one to... looks very hurt. Who is hurt? This one. The one that Holly's by. Oh. Can I get, can I attack him? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. What does that mean? Oh, oh. natural 20! Critical hit. Yay! All right, go yeah. on, roll damage. Roll damage now? All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's probably going to be more than enough. Six. And we'll just double the die. 2d6. Oh, it's just 2d6, so double the die. We'll just double that. To do it at 12, and your thorn whip whips out and kills him. Yay! Good job. You sure I was gonna come up here and try to wake up Bront? And does not. Mm. 
making this a really low DC and they're still not doing it. All right, Eldath is going to start attacking the other one. Where is she? No, crikey. So many sheets to manage. Uh, miss and hits. I'm just going to move this off the map. Four or five piercing damage with their short sword. Lasseter. Eldritch Blast. That's gonna miss. That misses. Um, as my movement, I'd like to uh go past these people. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh shit, math. Uh, sorry. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um. What's down here? The stairs? Down here? That's just some stairs down to another guard tower. Oh. Also, well, uh, looking uh, over the side, you do see a couple more draw. Eh. <laughs> Um, boop. That's my turn. Now that they, uh, you saw some drow, and the drow obviously saw you. I'll hey. announce, uh, more people. Coming. Yeah, yeah, I was just starting to warm up. Of course you were, big guy. Link. Alright, Cyrus. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, hold on. Darendel has a couple of attacks on this. Cyrus so kind of give this, like... Like, I'm over this bullshit. Stare at her. Stare at this goblin thing. Just let us pass, damn it, and she will cast. Oh, this is my favorite sliver. Well, oh, thing, my amazing one damage. Well, it's uh, intelligent save. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure it's very intelligent, but my save. Nope. So one damage and subtract a d4 on his next saving turn. Saving throw. And that'll be it. Alright. Ah, finally. With the successful, successful medicine check, uh, Rot wakes up. At one hit point. Yay. Hey, big fella. Holly. Okay, uh, I am going to get up to this guy. And then I will... Hold on to read this. Okay. okay. And then I will swing my great axe at if this works. 
That'll lay it. Sweet. Then... Wait, did it do the damage? Did it do the damage as well? Yeah, it did the d12 plus 4. But then you're raging, so there's an additional 2 on top of that. Okay. Alright. That's it. Yeah. Alright. Rocking up the steps. One of them will attack uh, you, Lasser. Uh, take five points of piercing damage. I am down. You. Oh. You're already down? Okay. Yes. So the other one will be uh, shooting at Leaf for 2023. 20, Leaf, you'll take seven points of piercing damage. Okay. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. It's a, it's a con check. You want the saves, which are the little box on the left. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's underneath the the uh, stats. It says you'll see like a little box there that says a star int dex whiz con. You want the oh, it's not okay. Yeah. Con. What did you say it was a con? Con save. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Got the same thing. Okay, right. well, that's good. <laughs> and you saved, so you're good. Yay. All right, it says, All right, big guy, come on. We're getting out of here. And starts making way, his way down. School Stool jumps up and down and starts falling. Uh, topsy. Quackos is going to attack Darren Bell. That is eight points of damage to state Darren Bell. Roderick. Alright, seeing that these little drows are coming up and people are taking care of this Qui-Goth here, I'm going to come run up right over here and give this one a nice swift kick. That should do it. Then I'm going to uh, continue on. Mm -hmm. Continue on and give him another kick. And with it. It's a space. There's not much room. You, you prefer a little bit more space to, to, to move around in to swing your fists and feet. Yeah. Leaf. Quite off to the north, and there's a couple drow coming in from the south. Okay. What's up with um, Lasseter? Why does he have that weird little icon thingy? Lasseter is unconscious. Oh. Is there any way I can, like, get him up? Uh, you can heal him. Yeah. Kill him. Do I have to click on him? Uh, you, well, if you're going to heal him, uh, I believe you have Cure Wounds, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, I have um, Cure Wounds, yes. Mm -hmm. You can just use Cure Wounds. I don't have to touch him on the map or anything? No. Okay. Just take cure wounds. You're right next to him, so... I'm 
you'll just have to click the healing button next to your Q and spell. The healing? Okay, so I didn't click the right one. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. I missed it. So Lasser, you heal for nine points. You're conscious again. Thank you. Uh, I, I wake up saying, uh, where's hangover? And you see this that nine? cute little, little elf looking down at you. Um, <laughs> all right, big guy, go kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running, but thank you. <laughs> oh, run. Be free. Jim Jar sees the drow is getting a little is a little angry at being caged by the drow. So he's gonna fire a couple times uh, or fire fire with his crossbow and he hits. He points of damage and knocking this one out. Elda is gonna take care of this quad golf that's in front of her. For eight and three. Shusar follows. Lassiter, you got a few hit points <laughs> and you're on the ground. <laughs> you stand up, see, oh. It wasn't a dream. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm up. Can I see this guy, or is he too low? Yeah, he, he's a little down, but you can see him fine. Okay, I'm going to shoot him. We'll try, at least. <clears throat> My rolls have not been good as of late. Like that one. Nope. Anything uh, else? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna move back. Oh, well, can't. But yeah, I'm gonna move right here. Thanks, uh, elf person. For being my meat shield. No problem. <laughs> Spiridel is going to attack the uh, other Quagoth uh, for another eight points. Quagoth is not looking very good. Oh, it's like, uh, roar! Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna say he gets he runs all the way down. He like leaps over the stool. Sarah, or Syrah. So, can I see all three of these drow down here? Um, these two actually, you can't. They're like lock themselves into a, into uh, a room. Okay. So, take oh, him off the map. I... Okay. Here, I actually. Well, that changes things then. <laughs> Dude, this one's dead, so who cares? Okay, so that changes a few things. Uh, I'm going to help try and take this one down again. Um, same yeah, thing. Yeah, he's not looking very good. But uh, I'm going to just kind of yell at him, like, just stay down, damn you, and do another mind sliver. For a three. But there's the save. So he could save. Likely that he will. Doesn't he oh. get a? Uh, but doesn't he take a, a D four off of that because of the last mind sliver? Well, that's true. That's true. Nope. So oh, Seventeen. <laughs> He saves. Bastard. 
and that's a that, is that a cantrip? Yes. Okay, so it doesn't do like half damage or something. Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> Nat <Three> twenty. <laughs> here, like that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what's the hold up? We're, we're um, taking care of a few people. Stiff breeze. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and so he's still up. Stiff breeze. <laughs> One HP. <laughs> well, maybe not exactly that. I'll uh, swing at him with my great axe. You hit. Yay! And you slice right through. And I tell him night night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sitting on air because I moved him down to the tree, the uh, GM layer, but. The other draw is just going to stay back here and fire off a spell. Uh, Roderick. 19 hit? Yes. Okay, take 5 piercing damage and give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, well, that's going to be a good one. Okay, you save. You're fine. I mean, you're already poisoned, right? Yeah. Did I take off your poison? You were still poisoned from the trap. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna go right here. And hit that guy. was not your turn yet. Well, whoop. Topsy says, says, Yeah, what's the holdup? Oh, they got some other guys down there. They're taking care of. Oh, well, hurry up! Stool's gonna stool. They're very well staffed. Quagos are dead. Now it's your turn, Roderick. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go here and stab this man. Well, you can certainly try. Was it 23 hit? That hits. All right. And then, so I'm going to stab him, and then I'm going to give him a nice, like, right hook. Now it's going to hit, too. Yep. And you give him a right hook. He bounces off the, uh, off the wall and falls into the webs below. Have a nice trip. Also, I'm looking pretty bloodied right now. If anyone looks at me. So, what was next to this Quagos? An elevator. All right, everyone. Time to shuffle up uh, over here. Single up file. I'm guessing we can all can't fit on here at once. Up to four oh, medium creatures can fit somewhat snugly in the basket, which is swung out over the edge of the platform and lowered to the cavern floor below by turning the spool using attached handles. Uh, can, I, can I push my way in front of the line? Make me a strength check. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Gonna sell this one. Nine. Nope. Alright, I think <laughs> Haley should go first so we have someone of a powerhouse here. Ron, you stay up here with me. Um, Jimjar, go. Eldith, go. Lattister, go. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> so, who's got all going down? Haley, Jim Jar, Lassiter, and Eldith. Eldan. And Jim Jar, you said. Yes. Oh, you won. Okay, so we got. I need um, 
That guy's totally want, die. and actually, uh, let me take a look at the sheet quickly here. Because in order to to do that thing, instead of having them like fall to the ground, uh, we require a strength check. Why well, Ron do that? All right, and you help. Yes. All right, they'll just give him advantage. Because <laughs> we do not want Roderick doing it. All right. Uh, everybody gets down to the ground just fine. Run. Wheels it back up for the next load. All right, this time we'll have um, Dorndale, Leaf, um, Bui de Beppo. And uh, Ciara, uh, is that saying that right? Syra. Syra, go down. Gupito. Leaf. Syra, Leaf. Leaf. And um, Dorindel. 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 All right. Or makes another. That's fine. Scroll it back up. So then, Topsy Turvy, Shushar, and Sarah. Shushar and Sarah. That's fine. And then I think it's just you, Runt, and Stool. Yes. And so both of you kind of being it, who wants to carry stool? Or are you just going to lower stool down by himself? Do it. Or are you both going to go down and We'll lower stool down by himself. Oh. I'm, I'm not part of this round. Am I good? Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> you're already, you're already down. Stool, 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 stool's a uh, little mic, mic nid. He's the best boy. That's who stool is. He, he's a little oh, he's with us. Mm -hmm. He was a oh, okay. with us. And then you and Ron kind of like uh, do this, like just like slide down the. Yeah. Uh, and be very acrobatic and dexterous. I'm just going to say out of uh, Wool of Cool, uh, you, you guys basically uh, pull up the the thing and then, or you kind of like cut the rope with a dagger or something and you do this kind of like weight balance sort of thing and kind of like climb, uh, slide down practically. Because uh, I'm right now good at climbing. Because as a as my lint, as my race, I have a climbing speed as of right now equal to my walking speed. So the two you get down just fine. Yeah. Too bad we aren't level three yet. I'll just I would just walk down the walls. All right. So you have successfully made it out. Oh. Now you need to figure out where you're going to go. You got different directions you can go. You we have to... sunlight? No. no. We will We will not have sunlight until the end of the campaign. Oh, well, okay. Actually, not entirely true, but... Until we get out of the Underdark, we will not have sunlight. To the north, there's a north passage, a west passage, and a south back, a pa passage. Which way do we want to take? Um, could I roll perception to see if there are weird buzzing noises coming from one of those directions? Uh, the only buzzing noise that you can tell is directly above you. But not coming from any of the passages? 
No, they're kind of far away in the big. So okay. hard to tell. Um, so Jim Jar and Topsy and Turvy will say, uh, I, I don't recommend going that way because that leads directly toward Menzo Berezan. That's where the drow for, are from. Uh, it, we can use that to, to get to Blingdon Stone. Topsy and Turvy are like, um, no, no, we don't have to go directly to Blingdon Stone. No, that's fine. That's fine. We don't have to go to directly to it. We can, we, 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 we can go around. Do you, there, there's another way. Uh, we could we could go through the dark lake. Uh, that's that way, and they point to the west. So dark lake uh, to the west. Uh, going Oops. that way, we could like eventually like go south and and, and towards Grackle School stood. And they, you, you think to yourself, looking around, how the hell can you figure out which way is north, south, east, or west? Probably one of those things that being from here, they're using a tail. Um, but I will say Dark Lake sounds good as anything. Uh, we can also go do, uh, just directly south. That goes to uh, Grackle Stug as well. Um, let's let's um, <clears throat> go the way that gets us out of here and some type of civilization. Please. Grackle Stoop? Green Isaiah, let's go. Uh, Sewell so we'll shakes some spores out and says, Well, where's home? Oh, man. Uh, where is the Where is In the red light grove? In my belly. <laughs> if you try that, I will hurt you. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be serious. I wouldn't eat stool. <laughs> you killed a dog. <laughs> Shut another that campaign. <laughs> We don't know what his character has and has not done. You will not bring can't other world. This is the same world, but <laughs> that's in the future. This takes we don't place know before the previous campaign. So the Evergrove is his home. You never like Grove. Like Grove. Uh, Elvith actually, uh, or let's see, Top Scene Turby actually probably could do this. Um, do I have, do I have one? We had one. Don't have one. That was sad. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere. Oh, do I have a handout for this? Oh, here we are. Oh, what's going on now? So you can zoom in on this. This is a map of the Underdark. Does it have a you are here pointer? Um, if you look to the bottom right, kind of, uh, of the Dark Lake, Right where it says Long Chasm is where we are. Vecal, Vecalvin. Velkenveld. Velkenveld. Shloopadoop. <laughs> I forgot about some of these names. Shloopadoop. 
Well, we can Is go to Greckle's Greckle's suit, and then up to the Neverlight Grove. I I agree with anywhere as long as they have civilization. Just something will be there. Uh, that sounds wonderful. Let's go. Uh, Grackles, Grackles Stug is the home of the Doragar. That's, uh, like those dark, uh, uh, what are they called? Doors, right? Mm hmm. Dark dwarves? Mm hmm. Yeah, they're, they're some sort of that. Uh, Elder Scrolls. They are nothing like us dwarves. Oh, are are we familiar with the uh, Underdark, or are we all from. Uh, yeah, everybody's not... from the surface. Okay. But just There's because you're from the surface doesn't mean you don't know about the. Underdark. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm There's a say... guard that sometimes pop up on on, on the surface. Um, same for the Smurf Neblin. Also known as Deep Thames. Yeah. And of course, everybody knows about the draw. Yeah, of course. Because um, of course, <sighs> everybody yeah. wants to know. All the draw, <laughs> the draw wants you to know about the uh which way was uh damn wait i forgot the name of it already which way is uh graven hollow or where where do we say we were going we're gonna take stool home we're gonna, like gonna take stool Yes, the the way of uh, Greckle Stug. I go in that direction. Start walking. Okay. If you know, yeah. So just to, let me run through everything about that of what people people would have said was Bupito knows how to reach Greckle Stug by the southern route. Uh, he also can find a route to Greckle School by the dark Stug by the dark late if necessary. Uh, and Bupito will even encourage you to go to Grackle School because who knows, you might be, be able to get better equipment. And that's where his people are. Uh, Prince Darendel, the quite off. Um, he wasn't sure, but he'll, he'll accompany the party and he wants to go to the sur surface world. Elvis uh, isn't familiar with this region of the Underdark, so can't really help. But uh, she said that she can help on uh, survival checks. I can help out in that regard for like foraging and such. Uh, Jim Jar is ready to guide you, be, can be guide you to Blinden Stone via the North Passage if you want to. The. Um, Smurf Neblin City will give you. He says that the Smurf Neblin City will give you the, give you access to the surface. Although, if you, we want to go somewhere else, he's fine with that too. As well as take his tool back home. I think that's our best course. If it gets us out of here faster, let's do it. Uh, Ron just uh, wants to get out of the Underdark. He's in work. He's from the surface. Uh, Sarah sa uh, says that he's very familiar with that and also wants to go to Neverlight Grove. Also wants to go? Uh, Sarah agreed. Okay. Uh, Shusar says that he can navigate the Dark Link. Uh, once they get within about three miles of any part of it. He also recommends hey, a good place to stop by would be Snoopy Doop. Uh, Quite require some boats to get to Grackle Skook. He wants to return to his own people. 
guiding them to the enlightenment he has achieved. Uh, he all, uh, still also says that his people will be grateful and offer the party shelter and aid uh, to take him back home and says that his sovereign was his, it's his, describes its sovereign as wise in the hidden ways of the Underdark. Uh, Topsy and Turi can navigate the Blingdon Stone but they really kind of don't want to. But any, anything else? Yeah, let's take school back home. So way from Blingdon Stone. That sounds good. Cool. Taking stool home? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. All right, good. so we're going to, but the first destination, you're going to stop at Gregelslug, or are you going to try to just go directly to Neverlight? I say we should stop at uh, Grickles Dude. I would agree. Get some, try to get some supplies. Some wares that they have any. Well, lead the way then. Uh, the droning seems to go down as you start heading out the South Passage. And you hear some commotion from up in the, the loft of Velcan Velve. The prisoners! They've escaped! After them! And, and we you sabotage. Now working to, to get down the two chasing. We shall run. I was, was going to say, can we sabotage the elevator? Uh, you're already on the on the ground, so you can't really do much. Well, we, uh, if we could have, while well, we're because the thing was still down there for when me and Ron were there. Didn't uh, you two, one of you, cut the rope while y'all yeah. were, while one of you were like coming down or something? Yeah, so they're trying to work their way down. So you've got some a uh, little bit of time. Out <laughs> yeah, we gave ourselves a little bit of leeway. They're probably like do a little jog. Or run. Yeah. Um, I'll pick up stool as we're running. How big is stool? Size of a Doberman. Yeah, no, I can pick him up. Unless uh, someone else wants to pick him up. Check. Uh. <laughs> Laster? I'm not sure how strong you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's just something you can't really. Stool actually kind of like. Uh, puff some spores at you, making you uh, cutting chop and choke. Doesn't poison you or anything, just irritant. Uh, and you hear in your mind, oh. mind I, I can move on my own. Thank you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> the one who wanted to eat him. Oh, no, I was just saying. Okay. <laughs> uh, Stool runs over to, to Holly and kind of like <laughs> close to her. I see. I see Stool. It's fine. It's good. Everything's fine. Alright. So we'll start heading off. Yeah. Ow. At one point, once we get to the spot, I'd like to take a short rest. Short rest would be great. Yeah, I'll say you can take a short rest. How do we do that? On the DB. On D and D Beyond at the top, there's a button there that says short rest. Yeah, full hit oh. point. A hit, I got max on a hit die. You only Wait, what two is of those. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you were out of anything. Oh, you used uh, cure, cure wounds, but you need a long rest for that. Did I roll oh, a long rest for that one? 
Damn. Hey, Tapu. Can you help? Oh no, what did I do? Noise. Crap. I hit this. Do you take damage? Yeah, I took damage. Oh, there to use where you hit that heat. Can you use a level two? Hmm? Let's just use one, see what you get. Okay. Then. Nice. Max. Yeah, we both we both got max hit uh, rolls on our hit die. <sighs> it's a little better. So did um, feel real pretty. Everybody maxed on their hit dice. Gonna be a good day. <laughs> And the poison condition goes away after a short rest, right? Uh, it goes after a long rest. Long rest, okay. What does that do again? Uh, basic disadvantage. disadvantage. Disadvantage on rolls. I mean, it's one of the things I haven't been doing. <laughs> I totally forgot, so... Hey! <laughs> BRB. My key light went out for a second. Oh. Don't tell me so, the battery's going. So do we have like like one more hour of play? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, the battery's going down. I need to charge my key light. Maybe it doesn't last as long as I'd like it to. Anyways. But we're good enough. Alright, so... How fast are you moving? Are you trying to go at a fast pace, normal pace, or a slow pace? Normal. Um, normal so pace. Be... Everything is fine. And are you trying to be quiet, stealthy? Let's say quiet. Right. That would be probably nice. Right, actually... Yeah, actually, going at a normal pace probably can be as stealthy as you would like. Just trying to be relatively quiet. I totally forgot where I made the chart for this. So I'll just use this. Alright, so Bupita says uh, it's going to take about 28 days to get to Brackleslug, so it's going to be a while. And I think okay. I have macros for this. I'm going to die.
What's what's the ruling of withdrawal? <laughs> uh, you'll see. Welcome. What's going on? We're just deciding how I'm going to die. <laughs> My dog. <laughs> that later it gets captured by the wizards, of, the red wizards of Thay. That would be something. I'm creating a new page here for... All right. So I'm going to pull you over to a page. Yay. And I'm going to copy your tokens from here. There we go. All right, I need two sets of marching orders. One for single file and one for moving to a breast. So I'm going to make uh, another copy of your tokens. And I just need. Um, you said single file line and what? So. Standing like side by side to each other. Certain areas would be able to be one by one. We have to go single file, and other ones would be able to do two by two. And there we go. Okay. So, first. So, I just need some marching orders where you want to put everybody. I'll put Syra in the middle of the single. I'll be in front of... I'll be towards the front, but... I'll be towards the front. Bill Ron should be up front, too. I find it very interesting that you guys are going uh, left to right. Um, questionable, but okay. Why left to right? Oh, is it oh, question well, you're moving left? east. So oh. if we kind of left to right. Or moving, you're moving west. So that's kind of the right one. That if helps. we need to turn it around, we can. But We read left to right, so it's easier to remember, like, this is the start. Then... No. I'm also working on getting you all access to the tokens. Uh, So that you can move the NPCs around. Do. There, there, there. Yeah. Well, actually, we've Ront in the back, just so we have muscle in the back in case something happens. I'm able to move around pretty freely because I move fast. So, and then once we hit next level, I'll literally be able to move up walls. 
us this day. Hmm. See how there's that's a character. <laughs> Topsy and Trevi have the ranged attacks. Bell death. Just ignore some of the things that are referenced on this on the character sheets. Yep. Oh, now I'm interested. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, stool. Okay. So you should all have, have access to the to their uh, tokens to be able to move them. Just don't go crazy. See, I sat. I sh it shows me Turvy, but I don't have access to Turvy. And Buda Pito. I might have forgot to give you control. I just shared it in the thing. Okay. Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> ah. What's happening? All the things. Turkey sheet isn't opening up for some reason. It was never here to begin with. Alright. Where do you want me to put Turvy? Here? Yeah. And here. Okay. Um. Is it okay if I, like, trade spaces with uh, someone? Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty in the middle. Because we I'm also not... have to remember we have one other player that's not here right now. KR, he's here, but he's not going to be here. So he's not here can... today. Yeah. So okay. at least spot right there for him. So we can shuffle. Yeah. We can change orders. Yeah. It's not gonna gonna hurt anything. Well, it's fine. I I just want it to be like in the middle, like in on this line. But um, I'm pretty in the middle, so. Were you wanting to be in the middle on the other line too, or I'm not no? Right now. Right. With the questionable folk. Yeah, top of the interview will be right next. Should are usually right next to each other. that yeah the twins kind of stay together this is always the hard part Mm -hmm. Alright, first off, does anybody have either great food and water or good berry? I don't think I have access to great food and water yet. Well, yeah, yeah, inventory. Oh, I have great I have rations for a day. Water. Yeah, we all got our equipment, so we should have like 10 days worth of rations. Is there 
something that we should know before uh, preparing create water or whatever? And I can give mine out to other people because I won't need them. All right, so. Um, using the rules from the player's handbook. Note about food. Character needs one pound of food per day and can make food last longer by subsisting on half rations. Eating half a pound of food in a day counts as half a day, day without food. A character can go without food for a number of days equal to three plus his or her constitution modifier. At the end of each day beyond that limit, character automatically suffers one level of exhaustion. A normal day of eating resets the, the count of days without food to zero. A character needs one gallon of water per day, or two gallons per day if the weather is hot. In the underdark, it doesn't really get that hot. So we don't have to worry about that. But a character who drinks only half as much water must succeed on a DC 15 constitution save or suffer a level of exhaustion at the end of the day. Character with access to even less water automatically suffers one level of exhaustion at the end of the day. If the character already has one or more levels of exhaustion, the character takes two levels in either case. So it kind of compounds. So keep that in mind when it comes to food and being able to um, get food and forage. Yeah. And also, Leaf, if you're not aware, druids can change their spells after a long rest. So, so if you if you want to get good berry, you can after a long rest. Oh, okay. Does anyone have um like a bucket or something? We all have water skins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, what I'm thinking is that when I use uh, Create Water, um, would it just magically go into everyone's water skin? Or would it go into just one, one container? Yeah, I would say that on one casting, you can, like, fill people's water skins. Oh, okay, cool. And how long will it take to get there again? Going at a normal pace? Going at a normal pace, 28 days. We only have 10 days of rations. We're all gonna die. Oh, um, said so if, if Leaf gets good berry, that'll sustain us every day he casts it. So yeah, Goodberry will be able to take care of that. Uh, do you have crate water, Lester, or do you have crate food and water? Um, I only have create water, create or destroy water. So a combination of of crate water and Goodberry would basically negate all of this. So. Yeah, I would say say that um, 
one casting of Great Water will be enough for the entire party. Nice. Just to make things easier. That means for 28 days, I'll only have like a access to two oh. spell slots. Well, remember, we'll be taking like rest, like short rests and long rests between this. So all of our spell slots, especially for you, our spell slots will reflect, like refresh quick. Yeah. Depending on if they're your pack sp uh, spot slots or cleric spots. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that. Uh, can can I use, let's say a a cleric spell? <clears throat> can I use a my pack spell slot for like a cleric, cleric spell? spell? I believe so. Cool. That's what's nice about multi-class. Between two spell clusters, you have, especially with warlock, you have access to more spell uh, spell slots. It's just the cleric spell slots will only refresh on a long rest, where your pack slots will refresh on a short rest. Short rest. So that that's the thing. Anyone have any like uh some uh fruit that they don't want? I can divvy out my um rations to others who need it. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about rations. I I just want like fruit. Well, I'm just saying that's just another ten days worth of food right there. I want it for a person. Yeah. I am worried about root. About Ront? Or... Oh, I want fruit. Is what we can find. If we can see what we can find. <laughs> picky, picky. Uh, 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 Jim Jarvis says, uh, sorry, buddy, but uh, uh, not much of fruit down here in the Underdark. Will there be life around us? Hmm? Will there be, like, wildlife around us? Uh, yeah, not necessarily the good kind. Just to get us by? We might be able to, to, to slay a few things, but we might need to... to to kind of fight for it. But we got our equipment, so that's going to help out immensely. I don't think I see any spells that will help. Well, what they were um, saying, Slinky, was that every long rest that you take or that we take, you're able to change out your spells so you can grab a certain spell somebody mentioned it good berry good berry and you can switch it out and then that will help kind of like how uh lassiter helps with uh create water he helps with the water and then you would do use good berry to help out with the food rations and that would get us through the 28 days and good berry. So yeah, can I know. switch it now, or am I not allowed to? Uh, you need to wait for a long rest. Oh, okay then. So, well, actually, uh, so you travel at a normal pace, uh, find a, a decent. Actually, um, everybody rolled me a survival check. Survival. Mm. See if we can see if anybody really finds a. Uh, Decent place to bed down. This place is unfamiliar to me. What's that? Holly, you find a nice alcove cave uh, with enough room for the entire party, uh, giving people enough space. 
and uh, uh, and can be easily camouflaged and, and hidden. Might still want to have watches run uh, throughout the night, okay. but in general, it looks pretty safe. I let the group know about the alcove. Actually, and... let me amend my statement. Uh, uh, enough uh, space for uh, uh, people to say and th sleep uh, for a sleeping type period. Because <laughs> there really isn't any day or night down here in the editor dark. <laughs> and here's the kicker. Um, as you uh, fall asleep, uh, I'm assuming you take watches, but I'm just going to assume that at least this first night, uh, everything's going to be fun and dandy. Nothing happens. And uh, you'll all gain a long rest. You swap out your oh. spells. And also, uh, you feel a little more powerful because you've gained a level. I'm sorry. Can I say that again? You kind of cut off at the end. You gained a level. Oh. oh. You nice. leveled up. Do, 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 do. Level two spells. Woo. Too many choices. Oh god. Well, no, he and... has actually level two spells with level three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just... Hey, when? Mm -hmm. Don't you want to like choose which uh, class I level up in? Uh, I mean, I don't want to choose, but do you want me to choose? Please. Sure. Hold on. You level up a warlock. Cool. Um. I think that gives you more health, doesn't it? No. They're both D8s, right? Yes. Hey, elders invocations. And while you're thinking about all that, we will see you in two weeks. I think this is a great stopping point. Okay. We, all right. return. All right. yeah. it, it, we had a lot of people to get through when it came to, to battle and stuff. And the thing is, I made that really easy. <laughs> I forgot a spider. Could have put more draw in there. Uh, Could have had the demons interfere more, but Basically, two sessions in Velcan Valve is a lot. So, heck, I remember last time we played this, um, we gained two levels just in that one experience. That's because we were actually doing a, uh, uh, XP and you killed uh, main chick. Everything. Everything. She, the main chick was also there with her person, her, her, her concubine. Oh, mm. BDSM mama, Alvara. Cool. Oh, right. You have a good day. Uh, I will see you in two weeks. Happy Thanksgiving. Good right. Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Maybe this will end up just one. being an every two week, two week thing because. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of how we've been playing it so far. Oh. Right. There's a lot of holidays to get through this time of year. Yeah. 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 And it's also the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Bye bye year. Well, this is the only.